Hello everyone, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the 10th Excel 2007 tutorial. And today's topic is working with Excel templates or an introduction to Excel templates. So to start off with, there's three different categories of templates that are used in Excel. The first one is install templates that are on your hard drive. The second one is templates that you can download from Microsoft. And the third one is personal templates that you can build yourself or modify from existing templates. So to jump right in here, I'm going to show you, uh, click on the Microsoft Office button up here on the top left, click on New, and you'll get several options here uh, on the um, template column here. So there's blank templates, install templates are the ones that are um, installed on the hard drive that are, you know, would come with the Microsoft Office package. For example, um, expense report, billing statement, monthly budget, loan amortization. Um, and there's other um, templates in here. We'll, we'll come back and revisit my templates. There's featured templates. You'll notice these are downloads from the Microsoft uh, Corporation. And then, oh, my window's getting cut off here a little bit. There we go. So you'll notice some of these are um, downloads from Microsoft. Actually all these ones down here are, you'll notice Microsoft Online. They're typically very small, but there's numerous topics, budgets, calendars, um, expense reports. So very common things that you're going to be using Excel for. There's probably already a template out here that will hopefully meet your needs so you don't have to create something from scratch. So we're going to go jump right in and do a um, install template here as an example. And we're going to go ahead and do the uh, loan amortization. And you see this makes it really simple. You don't have to go out and create a, a, a spreadsheet from scratch. You can go in here, let's just assume a $20,000 car is the loan amount. And you're paying the interest rate of let's say six percent and your loan is for four years and you're going to do 12 payments per year and your loan is going to start on let's say June 1st of 2010 and no extra payments and you see what it did down here is it created a summary over here right how much is your payment going to be number of payments and how much interest did you pay on your car loan and then let me see if I can get rid of the extra payments thing here and then down here it shows your whole amortization schedule so it's real convenient if you're buying a house or a car you can uh, analyze different scenarios before you go and uh, purchase that uh, and make a big purchase decision so anyway starting here beginning balance your payment you know it breaks it all down for you um, what's principal what's interest and so forth all right, and it does it all the way through your entire uh, loan, whether it's a you know a 30-year mortgage or a four-year car loan. So that's an example of a um, previously installed template and a good example of where you would want to use a template. Uh, so one thing that's really important to note is I can go ahead and save this and call it. I can call it you know save it as a um, workbook and call it uh, you know car loan. And I could just put it, and you'll notice here it's an Excel workbook. So I could say OK, and I save it to my hard drive. I didn't modify the template. I mod the template is is the exi is the previous template that we opened up, but we've added data to it, and I've modified the actual workbook, not the actual template. Okay, so you may get to a point where you want to take a template and take an existing template and modify it. So what you can do here is you can go to open and you can open a um, uh, let's see a sales report for example and you can add another column over here and call it uh, you know they did quarter four well let's say we wanted to change this to say um, November November December right and then you said holiday period here for sales and you filled out a column here so you've modified the template. So what you can do here is now say file save as and then you can save it 
the important thing here is you're saying save as type Excel template. So if you have macros in this template, you would want to make sure you said Excel macro enable template. Okay, so that's very important to save it as the right type. So we're going to go ahead and say sales report. I'm going to call it sales report 2. I'm going to say save. Okay. And I'm going to say yes to that warning. And I'm going to close that. And now if I go under office again and go to, now I would go to my templates. And you notice it has several um, templates here to choose from. Okay, so for example, if we want to open up that sales report too, I could open that up and that's a new template and you see it says November, December and holiday period versus quarter one through quarter four before. Okay, so now I've modified the template and not just the file. So another thing that you may want to do is create a template and make it the start, the default template or workbook that you actually start up with. So how you would do that is you would create a template. Let's just assume we're going to create something. We'll call it uh, Acme Corp. And let's say you always wanted, you know, your employees when they come in and they start up Excel and they start working, you always want the company name uh, and a disclaimer at the top, right? And so, we'll, but for right now, we'll just we'll just put Acme Corp here. So what we would do is say File Save As, save it as a template. and we change the name of it to book okay in this case so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go and put it in a startup file so how I do that I go to program files then I go to Microsoft Office Office 12 and then there's a directory called Excel start I save it in there it's important to note here that Excel start may be in a different maybe have a different path um, but that's a very common one so it may not be that exact path it might be under user um, documents and setting user application data might be on a different different location so what that does is I'm going to close out of Excel I'm going to go ahead and relaunch Excel and it's going to start up that Excel start template so rather than the blank workbook it's going to come up like that Okay, this is Windows Vista that I'm running on. It's it's also important to note it, note that I actually had to modify the permissions on the Excel Start directory. By default, with Windows Vista, it's not going to let you save there because you don't have the permissions unless you're logged in as the administrator. So you may run in, you might run into a problem there, um, but that's just another thing I wanted to show you. And then if you want to get rid of that, you can just go in and delete that file from the from the Excel start folder I'll close out of Excel I'll launch it again and you notice I'm back to my normal default settings All right that's what I want to show you and thanks for joining and please subscribe I've got a lot more um, Excel tutorials coming up and we're gonna um, have other applications we're gonna do tutorials on also thanks